This is part two of the 30 square foot application video of U.S. Cotton Wall Cotton Plaster. Eric is edging the chair rail. All baseboards, casings, and ceiling lines will be edged as you move down the wall. First, the base or casing is cleaned with a 3 inch plastic putty knife. Plastic works better than metal. Metal tends to pull the material loose. After pushing any threads or mica from the wood back to the wall, he will then smooth the edge with a trowel. The cleaner you get the edge now, the easier any cleanup will be after everything is dry. This will also ensure a clean, crisp transition from the material to the base or the casing. If you have stained rather than painted wood, you must regap this edge to prevent staining from the wood. This is a must do if you have stained wood. Eric is now showing us the angle of the trowel that is used for final smoothing as you finish an area. The trowel is nearly parallel to the wall with the leading edge in the air only a few degrees as you can see. Eric is vibrating the trowel as he lays the material on the wall at the edge. A little vibration will help spread the material to correct thickness with the first swipe of the trowel. This vibrating movement is especially helpful along the base, ceiling, window, and door casings. Laying the material on at correct or close to correct thickness with the first swipe at the edge will make the edge easier and quicker to finish. As in previous sets, he will put all the material from the hock on the wall and then finish that area with long strokes to fill in the voids and smooth the highs and lows. Again, remember, you are floating the wall this is a mechanical application. The artistic side of this application is in selecting the right color for the room, the right texture, and adding the right effects, micas, threads, etc., at just the right amount in order to create a beautiful finish that reflects your customer's personality and meets the design requirements for their space. The material on the hock is the remainder of the batch. Eric will place the right amount of material onto a specific corner of the trowel to place it into the corner on the wall and will do the same with the next and subsequent moves. Vibrating the chair rail moves to proper thickness. He then QCs the corner, smooths out that area, and will add the remainder of the material into the void above. He 
is cleaning that edge of the chair rail to ensure that it's clean afterwards. He now has added the remainder of the material and will smooth that area, QC it, and make it all look approximately the same thickness. He has approximately one to two square feet of material left over as you will see when he shows us the hock. You should always order 10 percent extra and that's for two reasons. One, in case you apply material too thick, and two, repair material for your customers. To create repair material, take five to ten square feet of leftover material from the last batch and trowel it onto a plastic table, a scrap piece of smooth formica, or even a thick piece of plastic drop cloth or garbage bag. At the same thickness, let it dry, cut it with a razor knife, and scrape the pieces off and put them in a gallon Ziploc bag for the customer for future repairs. Thank you for watching part two of our 30 square foot application video. We also offer a quick overview video and a video that covers corners. We hope you enjoy them all. If you have any questions or would like to learn more about our special package offer, please call Tim Bell at 888-677-3642 or email tim at jotacor.com.